Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Today, I will be showing you all how to do the uh, strobe, black strobe light, white strobe light, whatever color strobe light you would want to make in After Effects. Today, I'll show you. Uh, you'll see I have an example right here. It's strobing like that, and it looks all cool. Um, so, I'll show you how to do that today. Um, I'm working with a 60 frame per second clip, uh, 59.94. Right away, you need to um, adjust your frame rate, or you know, make sure whatever frame you're using is right. <clears throat> I know this works well for 60 frame clips or 30 frame clips. I don't know about 24, 50. I don't know how those work because uh, I know YouTube, um, YouTube plays back in 30 frames per second. So if you have a 60 frame clip like me, you don't need to, you'll need to adjust for that. So um, well, let's jump right into the tutorial. Uh, I have this little preview here. I'll show you. Um, it's a trap song. I find this works very well to trap because of the snare kick. So let me preview this for you quick. Once it come on goes, all right, here it is. All right, I hope you saw that because uh, last time I recorded this, you actually couldn't see it in the Camtasia because I was recording in 15 frames per second, uh, which Camtasia did out of uh, like uh, what's it called? Uh, out of normal. So I changed it to 30. So hopefully you saw that strobe. But what happened is it strobed. I preview this in uh, 29.97 frames, which is 30 in uh, my case. Previewed it in 30 frames to show you what it looks like on YouTube. Um, so let's hop right into the tutorial. Delete my strobe layer, and I'm going to delete my solids. Yes, delete my solids. All right, so now I'm going to... Um, what I do is I have my song already. Between these one and two markers, I have where I want it to strobe. And I just have a random clip in the background just to show you how it looks. So I'm going to make a new solid. Control Y, Command Y on a Mac, name the strobe, make it comp size, which already is, and then whatever color you would like. I'm going to make mine black, OK, and then go to your markers and trim it. I take it you know how to trim, but if not, it's a uh, go to the one marker, Alt, left bracket, go to the two marker, Alt, right bracket, which will trim it up. Um, so now I have this black solid that's just here doing nothing. So I'm going to keyframe your opacity, that's what the effect is. Um, so what you're going to do now is, I'm going to change my opacity to 75%. I like it better on 75 because it doesn't go fully black. It looks kind of weird that way. That was not meant to be racist in any way. It sounded slightly racist off my tongue. Uh, I swear to God it's not. Um, but, so go to the opacity, uh, 75%, and since I'm doing 60 frames, I need to compensate that YouTube will play back in 30 frames. So I need to go 75, 75, 0, 0 for my keyframes. If you know what that means... So I'll go 75%, go ahead one key or one frame and make another keyframe. That's 1 60th of a second. Then go forward one more frame from that, change it down to zero, and another frame forward to zero. So that basically, YouTube will be playing black, it'll be flashing every 1 30th of a second. If you flash it every 1 60th of a second, you're either going to see nothing or you're going to see a black screen. So you have to compensate for YouTube playing back. So once I have these four keyframes, go frame one one keyframe forward and make another one at 75. So um, uh, now what you're gonna do, select these all and hold Alt, click on your stopwatch. I'm making an expression so you can make this a little easier instead of copy pasting all your keyframes. Click on this little arrow and go to property and up to let's see loop out. There it is. Click off. So now what it does is it um, this makes your solid loop. You know, it goes 75, 75, 0, 0 with the opacity, as long as you have this layer. So what you can do now, since I know this has more, you know, like, um, snare kicks in the background later in the song, I can just duplicate this layer and drag it and trim it to what I want. But um, that's it for the tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. Um, if you want to see how I made my new outro, which you're seeing a little bit, um, let's get 20 likes on this tutorial, and I'll show you how I did my outro. Um, so thank you guys for watching. My name's Quinn Ninja Guy, and I'm out. See you later. Here we go.